Well, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm not sure uh, if Ed Heck came back, but that was a... Uh... Hi, Lupla. How are you doing? Good to see you. Well, today we are on... Hello, Mark Thornton. Hello. How are you? Hello, hello. I see you. Look, at, I was thinking about drawing these tonight, but someone someone asked for lettering. Who was that? One of you guys asked for lettering. So I, I started thinking all day about lettering. So let's go ahead. Let's draw some lettering tonight. And then I'm thinking about doing this drawing tomorrow right here. What do you think? Now, tomorrow is Comic Palooza. Comic Palooza starts tomorrow, Friday. We're all set up. I'm excited about it. It's going to be really fun. Uh, hello. Hello, Doug. It's always, always entertains me and tickles me pink when people call me Commander Mark. I was 19 years old when we did that old show, and I was just looking at this. Uh, this is what I show during my school programs. That's what he's referring to, Commander Mark, right there. Isn't that funny? Uh, hey, hi. I got a, a text from Jay. I wonder if Jay, <coughs> if Jay is on right now. Uh, hello, Greg. How are you? Well, I look a little bit different than that. I even look different than when I was on Imagination Station. Uh, I'm 55 years old now. Still feel like I'm 18. But, uh, let me see if I have a more current picture of myself. Uh, let's see here. Well, this is it right here on the 90 day. And see, I'm kind of like Santa Claus now. And uh, there's my website. There's my Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to catch up with my old viewing student, Dan Frega. He has 77,000 viewers. Uh, his followers, I have 3,000. But hey, I had like 1,500 when I started the challenge, and we and I've got a lot of following since then. Hi, Lisa Wilding. We're do lettering today. So you guys, uh, let's figure out what letter we're going to draw, one drawing a day, and then we'll figure out what kind of... Uh, what kind of background, okay? So here, I'm gonna take take my, I'm gonna use my book here, and then we're gonna pick, like, I'm not sure what letter, let's say if you if we pick G, which one are we gonna draw? Are we gonna draw the puff cloud letter, the peeling shadow, chiseled stone, uh, super 3D, or the block G? Now, I think we did this already, right? And we, I, 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 we did Gingerbread Man. That was a fun one. So this is one of my books, Drawing in 3D. If you guys don't have it, certainly you want to get, get a hold of that. Yes. Oh, and also my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. Oh, yes. We got a, a vote for Appealing Shadow, but I need to know what letter you want to draw. Appealing Shadow. What letter shall we draw? Let's see here. I need three... Three votes for a letter. And uh, you guys tell me which, which letter you want to draw. So we got the letter. We got a request for letter L. And we have a request for peeling shadow. So I need three requests. Three requests for a certain letter. Letter E or G. We need three requests. M. I got a message from John. A. Okay, I need the letters. You guys have to double up on some letters. G or E. So there's another one, another one for E. Okay, need one more. I need three requests. Three requests. So that's one, two. Peeling shadow. What do you guys want to do? Uh, clouds? I'm going to do puffy clouds. I definitely want to draw a puffy cloud. So we'll do, we'll take a letter and do a couple versions. We'll do a peeling shadow and a puffy cloud. So we'll do two versions. So what letter do you want? We have A, L, E, G, M anymore. I need to get three and letter E. All right, looks like we're doing the letter E and we'll start with peeling shot and we'll do a puffy. All right, that sounds good. All righty, well, let's get over here. I, oh, I love going through this. I hope you guys don't get bored whenever I do this every time. Going through trying to find out the days, right? So here's lesson one. Look at this, isn't this awesome? There's lesson one, or lesson 30 days. That's our version one, right? 30 day challenge, all those. Isn't that cool? I love doing that. 
And then here's 30 day 31. Going up here. And I posted these. Did you guys see these? Did you see them posted? All oh, these, I posted that list. That goes through lesson day 78. And then this goes up through 79. And you guys, I guess you can pause this if you want, if you want to get it to quack flags. I'm looking to see what, if we've done a letter before. Easter flop, day 116. And here we are, we're on the day 117, 128. So we're on day 129, wow. And so we're going to do the letter. And what, what did we vote on? Oops. The letter E, the letter E, and we're gonna do the peeling shadow. Peeling shadow, and we'll do the puff cloud. The puffy, puffy cloud. <coughs> All right. Uh, I had my microphone with my mute button, but instead of comic palooza, well, of course I did that. I, <clears throat> so I don't can't mute it, so you guys have to suffer through my my uh, allergies again. All right, here we go. We're gonna draw the letter E, and we're gonna make it the peeling shadow and the puffy cloud. That'll be awesome. So let's uh, let's do it. Actually, we could do three. We, you want to do like three letter E's? Let's do three. Let's make like a, I'm feeling to do three. So we'll do what uh, letter E here at the top. So I'll draw an E here, and then over here, I'm going to do another E. Kind of just block them in here. And then over here, I'll do an E. We'll do three E's. E, E, E. All right, to do different... Uh... Okay, so the first one, that's kind of big. So we're going to do three. We'll do Peeling Shot of Puffy Cloud, and uh, we'll do Chiseled Stone. That's a fun one. Chiseled Stone. All right, so... Well, of course, as soon as I push, as soon as I push record live, my nose goes, starts running. Goodness, that, I tell you, it's, it's, isn't that just the way it is? Hey, look, I, ha I have my, I have my Adelaide Strong here. Did anybody else get their Adelaide Strong wristband? Adelaide, we love you out there. All right, here, so we're going to do, uh, let's start with the Peeling Shadow E. So what I'll do on this one is I'm going to do an, a, a frame around it. But I'm thinking I need to move it up just a bit. I need to move it up just a bit. Because I need to have some more space. So I'm going to start it about right here. All right. That gives me enough room. So I'll move this whole thing up. All right. So now for the peeling shadow, I'm going to go ahead and go around the outside of the E. And I'm going to just draw. And I'm going to shore this up a little bit. I like a little shorter. All right, and, and just do the best you can. You guys like that? How do you, how is that? That good for you? Give me a give me a one. Th uh, how's the audio, by the way? Audio video. Can you give me an A of A one through five and a, a video one through five? That would be awesome. Hi, Lisa Reed. Hi, Elise. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll take this. I'm gonna clean this up. And we're gonna make this peeling shadow. I learned this from my art teacher. Hi, right, Lapla, thank you for giving me your your uh, grade there. Audio five, video five. J. Doug Corlan, A, audio five, video five. Thank you. All right, I, I, from when I do the peeling shadow, you can do it from the, the right, the left, the top, the bottom. I'm gonna try to make it look like it's kind of peeling up from the paper this way. And so, and sometimes I cheat the shadow because it looks kind of cool, but I'm going to make the top kind of peeling off and it, and it comes down like it's a stick em letter, maybe st stuck here at the bottom. So then I come down like that. See that? <laughs> oh, no, nose and sound five. Did you hear me? Did you, I turned away. I tried to hide when I was blowing my nose. You didn't hear that, did you guys? I, I left my mute button down. I got all set up for Comic-Con, for Comic Palooza. It's my favorite show of the year. It's going to be really, really fun. And I, I'm going with uh, my two new friends from Trader Village Comic Con. Uh, we're, uh, my two friends, uh, Tori and Mr. Cool Guy, who, because I'm, I'm so bad with names, of course, he's like Mr. Mr. Big Cheese there. 
So I will know his name, remember his name before I see him. I'll say, hello, Mr. Big Cheese. But they're both going to come and, uh, and, and cosplay. It's going to be awesome. My kids are coming tomorrow with their friends. It's going to be so great. <coughs> so, all right. Hi, Anna C. How are you? Don't mind me and my my silly... Look at that. See, the look at that. That's my washed out light, and that's how it looks. Isn't that cool? So what I'm going to do here... Now, the shadow, if you look at it here, look at the shadow is going to come about under here. See that? See what? Does that make sense? So you can kind of see that dark E underneath. There's, say there's two E's or separating them. So you'll see that visual logic. You'll see the bottom there. Does that make sense, you guys? Say there's two E's and you're gonna you're gonna pull the E apart just but leave the bottom connected. All right. Now let's keep going here. So I'm gonna shade this. Shade, 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 shade. And I wanna clean it up a little bit. Um, hi, Ursula. Hey, uh, give me some, give me some comments. Uh, talk to me a little bit here. The house is so quiet. The cats are sleeping. Oh, everybody's gone. It's just me and you guys and my clay figurine. So it's kind of quiet. So and it's raining like crazy and lightning and thunder. So it's uh, it's really really a nice evening to hang out and draw with you guys. So you guys, tell me, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. What what do you guys do? What when you're not drawing with me? What is your what is your your life? What's your career? What do you, where do you what do you guys do? You know, I, 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 boy, I just pretty much record everything on Facebook. But uh, send me a text. Share, share what's going on with you guys. Let's, uh, let's, let's chat a little bit here. It was raining here earlier. Where, Tom? Okay, so here's E. There's, there's the peeling shadow. There's the peeling shadow. Isn't that cool? Now, uh, over here on this side, let's do. Uh, I think we'll do the puffy cloud here, and then we'll do the uh, chiseled stone. So look at this. You guys are opening up so much. <laughs> look at all these comments I got. Yeah, I work with the elderly. Oh, what an angel. I tell you, the, the, the folks that work with the young kids, special needs kids, and the elderly, they're angels in my book. One of my favorite artists, he works with the elderly. Um, his name is Doug, and... Uh, Kalberg, and he does a lot, a lot of the amazing coloring and inking. Basically, makes my drawing look like it's Marvel comic quality. And he's a partners with me, but he works when he's not drawing. He works with the elderly. Um, Jackson, Michigan. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another outline outside the E right here. So, Tom, how long have you been working out working with the elderly in Michigan? How long have you been doing that? Is that? Um, you cleared up the peeling letter approach. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I'm thinking next letter. Next time I do that, I'm going to actually visual. I'll take two letters and I'll cut them out and we'll overlap and I'll peel one back and move it just a little bit so you can see it. I'll do. Oh, that would be interesting. Take a, a black e and a white e and then put the black behind it and then just peel the peel the uh, top up a little bit. When are you doing sell? Uh, you know what? I just don't know. I'm changing my schedule quite drastically next year because I've got so many books I want to write. And I want to do, I want to really focus on these daily webcasts. You guys are bringing me so much joy. And uh, I've been three years on the road pretty, pretty uh, nonstop. And so I'm thinking of, uh, thinking of staying in this <clears throat> the studio and drawing a lot more. And, uh, and I know I'll be w with you guys every day and, uh, or evening, right? Tom, 30 years. Well, it sounds like a very, very noble and important career. Very good. Good for you doing something that you, is so important. Now, the question is, do you still love it after 30 years? Do you still love it? Do you still love and, uh, helping out um, your peeps? Here, that's the... Oh, uh, Eric, what do you do, Eric? What's your... What makes you tick? What's your... What's your passion? What's your job? This, I'm going to do the E. So you see, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to clean this up here. How many of you are, are working with uh, doing something you love 
And how many of you are working because you, and it's noble. I mean, if you're working and you're supporting your family and your, uh, yourself, I mean, there's, there's, there's nobility in working. Uh, and it's a bonus if you love what you do. I understand that. And I've been really fortunate to love what I do, right? I mean, I'm a, I draw puffy cloud E's and, and I draw squirrels, right? So, but I like hearing how, uh, I focus on dementia and Alzheimer patients. Okay, you're like one of the elevated angels, Tom. Well, good for you, helping helping them bring grace and dignity to to this important time in their lives. Well, good for you. Okay, coming along here. Well, I bet you have some wonderful stories. I bet you have some wonderful stories if I can get you on the microphone to tell me about some of the, some of your adventures you take uh, there in the, some, you guys, I'm sure you do. Um, <clears throat> you do art with them. Wow. Hey, we should do a webcast with you and your, uh, and you and your gang. You want to do that some, some night? Do a half hour webcast with you and your peeps there and, and your, uh, is it an assisted living home or what's the name of it? Mean, you can't say the name of the security. Um Tell you what, why don't you private message me if you're interested? I would I would love to do it. I would absolutely love to do it next week. We should plan it. Let's do a half hour. Let's do a half hour live a live webcast. It'll be our it'll be you know our our one drawing a day. And you you will let your group, Alan French. Alan, is this the Alan French from uh, o, uh, Oceanside, California? My uh, my dear dear friend from thirty years ago. Anyways, we're uh, drawing every day. This will be our drawing every day with the, your your seniors. Your, uh, you, oh, Sherry's uh, talking about hoping to, to one day do what she really wants to do. Well, I do too. I really, really urge you, encourage you to try try to. I mean, I know it takes a lot of work and a lot of luck, but but never give up trying to do to find that find that job, find that position, find that. Uh, that um, opportunity to do something you love to do. It sure, it sure makes a difference. It absolutely does. I've been so lucky. I mean, I've done other, I've done a lot of jobs. I used to drive ambulances, which was uh, really, really hard, but, uh, but uh, I was good at it. Um, I used to drive uh, uh, taxis. That was a scary job through college. I used to drive trash, uh, street cleaning trucks around parking lots all over San Diego, cleaning them up. Um, I used to work in movie theaters, uh, cleaning up popcorn. <laughs> I saw I saw a Rocky Horror Picture Show probably 117,000 times because that was my station. And so, is the Alan French, are you the Alan French at Oceanside? If you are, how you doing? My love to you and your family. Uh Goodness gracious! It's been so long. That I hope you're doing great. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna shade this right now. So we're gonna take this, and I'm gonna have the. Of course, I always seem to have the light coming from over here. <clears throat> I've always done. I'm even gonna put a peeling shadow. I do that with the arrows a lot. Isn't that fun? See that? Isn't that cool? Hey, Alan French, are you still sailing? Alan French and I used to sail our catamarans every day with our friend Clem. And uh, we lost Clem to an accident. Uh, how many years ago has that been? I was 30 and, I, and I'm 55. Was that 25 years ago, Alan? Well, I dedicated a book. I dedicated uh, my book. In fact, here's the book I dedicated to Clem right here, Alan. Remember this right here? This book right here. Boy, Alan, that's that's neat. You came on uh, this book right here to my friend and say, my Clem Bushman, the man with the perpetual grin. May the wind always fill your jib. He and I, we were actually roommates, and uh, we were all sailors. It was just, uh, it was an exciting time in our lives. We were sailing a lot. Yeah. Shade, shade, shade. Hey, Alan, remember, remember whenever we took walks with Clem, our dear friend, uh, we'd walk around the boats in the harbor and the light, the lights would always go out. Do you remember that? 
no matter what, about well, not every night, not every night, but often enough that you noticed it. And Clem would look up and say, there it goes again. You see, there's these, there, but these lights always pop out. The street lights would, would, would pop out. Like once, uh, maybe every other month or something, but enough to be unusual. Well, after Clem died, they started going popping out to me. Again, not all the time, but just often enough that I would look up and I'd go, Clem, how you doing, man? And I I just, I don't have very, any, any kind of uh, experiences like that, except I did for... And it went for two years, two years after Clem died. I had these street, street lights going out. And it was just every time it did, it brought a little a little uh, chuckle, a little grin, and a tear to my eye. And so, yeah, Alan, I think of Clem a lot too, buddy. All right, here, let's shade this. Okay, now there's our, there's our E here. And I'm going to use a little bit of that idea of the peeling E and put the the shading back here, see that? You see that? All the way down here. So, I, uh, you know what? I, I could, I could tell you the story about Clem. Clem was a, it was, it was a awesome sailor. He was planning to sail around the world, and uh, it was just uh, an amazing. Amazing time to be able to know him. All right, here, sail around here. Shade sail, I'm thinking about sailing. Shade down here. Shade down here. So I could I could tell you more about the about, about Clem and our whole adventure. Um I don't know how real you want me to get this rep webcast. I I just you really got me thinking and nostalgia for our old buddy, but Clem is actually he he died a hero, man. I was out sailing with him and Alan, and Alan turned back uh, earlier than we did, and we kept sailing to the sunset. It was before it was in December before Christmas, and uh, uh, I capsized my boat. I flipped my boat, my catamaran, and Clem came over to help me to rescue, help me out. And he uh, he and I couldn't right the boat. We had all kinds of difficulties. And uh, well, there, it's a it's a it's a very very uh, intense story. But he uh, to make to make it a, a short. Just uh, I want to give it all the, give him the respect and love. But it's just uh, why I don't talk about it very much. Um, but I, we both jumped off the boat to swim back to his boat because we couldn't ride my boat, and I knew I couldn't make it. Clem was a much better swimmer than I was, so I turned back to my boat, right, and I couldn't, uh, I, uh, I couldn't see my boat and because I had already swam a couple hundred yards. Oh my gosh! So I yelled to Clem. I was going back, and the last thing he, he, uh, I remember seeing, he turned around on the way. And I saw his face, and he was swimming away from me, and. He said, um, uh, you know, go, because I've always been um, heavy. And he, he, made, he made a little choke about the, me being chubby. And, you know, um, it was, he was endearing. And I laughed and yelled, a, you know, something rude back to him and ha, ha, ha. But then I saw my boat way in the distance. So I swam back to it. And, he, uh, that, and that's the last time we saw Clem. He, Clem, he perished that night. And it was... Uh, 25 years ago, you never forget, you never forget this story like that, or a man like that. Uh, so there's the peeling letter E, and there's the cloud letter E, and then, and then, uh, well, let's, let's draw the chiseled stony. This will be a good one. So yeah, that was a life altering, a profound, a very profound life-changing experience i'm sure we all we all have experiences like that but uh i mean not not as dramatic as that but we all have very very heavy important stories that happen in our lives okay let's go right here let's draw the bottom of the e look at that now we're going to make a chiseled stone e so i'm going to draw the line in here well gregory i uh 
you know, that was uh, it's so hard for me to talk about that. It's just so hard. I just, I, I have such a, you know, so many layers for many, many years of survivor's guilt, obviously. Uh, but also, um, how real do I want to make these webcasts? I mean, I want them to be fun and light and drawing. And, but I also want it to be naturally raw. So if we're talking about stuff, I can share things. And I guess we're day 120, 129 into it. But I do have to say that if Alan French hadn't called the Coast Guard, um, I wouldn't be here today. And if uh, 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 Clem hadn't had come over to try to help me, um, that uh, I probably wouldn't be here today. So, uh, yeah, he uh, he was our best friend, man. 25 years later, he could, he he still pulls all of our heartstrings. Profound, profound uh, experience, profound man. Yeah, we remember remember Alan. The uh, uh, we had a, a ceremony. All of his friends came out with were boats. We must have had seventeen catamarans that took Reese out uh, after we did a beachside memorial service for him and. We all sailed our catamarans out to the pier and his mom and his stepfather were on the pier and they were able to see us um, uh, sail all into a circle. Sail into the circle. Huh. And we uh, tossed the wreath in the water. I'll never forget that. That was really beautiful. It, it was a beautiful way. It was a beautiful send off. It was it was, uh, and he was worth all the tears, that's for sure, Alan. Years of tears for our buddy. All right, so the sun's up here, coming down, so we're going to shade under, under here. Shade, 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 shade. When all, all of our life experiences, all of uh, our amazing people that we have in our lives, they're, they're in all the conversations and adventures and experiences we have and all the the stories we we share they add to our life narrative and they 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 define who we are our, our these experiences and they define how we react and how we live them today and how we uh plan for tomorrow the kind of impact we want to have with the people around us so it always goes back to this this uh quote that i can't i have no idea where to attribute it to um certainly uh wouldn't would 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 not be surprised if it was uh, in Clem's wallet or you know a, a quote uh, like this. But um, do all the good you can to as for as many people as you can for as long as you can. You ever hear that? Do as much good as you can for as many people as you can for as long as you possibly can. I've always loved that quote. Hello, Julia Marka. So, uh, Clem Bushman, this show, this episode is dedicated to Clem. This is where we should have like the, the lights on the go out, right? We get really cheesy. He would get a kick out of that. He and his loud laugh. Boy, he could rock a room with his laugh. Say down here, geez, man. His favorite show was The uh, Little Mermaid, and we watched that dozens of times. He, that crab, he just he just cracked up with the that Sebastian. Jeez, man. Here, let's shade all around here. Let's darken this in. I'm going to put a, 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 a nice contrast here. A nice contrast. And all the way down. So, anybody have any uh, comments? Any comments? Any uh, any thoughts? Anything you want to share? This seems to be our sharing evening tonight. But I de definitely am dipping my pencil to Alan and our great friend, our sailing buddy. He jumped off his boat to help me. To help me. Came off of his boat and helped me in. I'll never forget that. Here, let's put the put that shadow back there. Well, there you go. 
All right. Well, hey, Alan, hey, thank you, Alan, for joining us tonight. And uh, thanks for the memories. Thanks for hanging in there with me and toasting, toasting our friend. And uh, I'll be in, uh, I don't know when this next time I'll be in California, but I'll look you up, all right? All right, guys. Well, there you go. There's your three E's. The Peeling E, the Puffy Cloud E, Chisel Stone E. And um, thank you for drawing. Thank you for listening to my story. It was it was nice to share that with you guys. And if you guys ever want to share, you you just you go ahead and you share with us on here. We're we're like a family now after 129 days. Well, thank you guys, and uh, remember to uh, follow me on Instagram and my web blog. Okay. Hey, you take care. Hey, Alan, I love you, man. You all take care out there. All right, take care of each other. Love y'all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.